Hey, it's Monica Plunder, makeup artist. I'm going to show you how to do a very natural makeup look today. This is definitely for the person out there who doesn't want to wear a lot of makeup and who wants to come across very natural. And this look is so soft and pretty and I call it my California look. And I have a beautiful model, her name is Taylor. And I'll show you right now, step by step, how I created this look. Let me know what you think about this video. Don't forget to leave some comments and feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Enjoy this video and I see you next time. So we just moisturized your skin to make it look very healthy and dewy. I chose Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I really like this product. It has an SPF of 20 in it. So it's great for during the day. And I like to kind of just start in the center of the face. And you can even use your hands for this. And then work your way outwards from the center of the face outwards. But this is a really nice product for young people. I feel like just it's very light and you don't really look like you're wearing any foundation, but still you're gonna get a really nice even finish. And also like go a little bit into the hairline so you get a seamless, nice finish. We just applied the tinted moisturizer and the next step I'm going to conceal her face just a little bit. There's like little tiny little red spots which I'm going to take care of with this Clé de Peau concealer in beige. With a concealer brush, you can use any concealer brush. I'm using Laura Mercier at the moment. Dip your brush into the concealer and then just go to the area you want to have concealed. Dab the product on it, just kind of blend it into her skin so it all becomes seamless and one. So I'm basically airbrushing your skin right now. This is what people do when they take a photograph and they airbrush in the computer. I'm doing it with my concealer. Also usually the nose area it tends to be always a little bit more red, especially around the winter time when it's cold outside. Everyone kind of gets more red around here. And I did plug Taylor's eyebrows a little bit earlier just to clean them up and just from plugging her skin got a little bit red right here so I'm putting a little bit concealer up there as well so it doesn't look so red. Okay next step would be her eyebrows. I'm going to use the Anastasia little tool here. It comes with a little brush and a comb. I'm just using the comb and she has amazing eyebrows and they're really full. I feel like the shape is perfect and I want to keep this look very natural so I'm not going to do a lot on her eyebrows I'm just going to fill in these little tiny areas where she has little gaps so for that I'm using MAC fling I'm just going to fill it in, in natural strokes If any of you people out there wondering why I'm holding this powder puff, I personally don't like to touch the skin too much. I like to just kind of like place this on my hand so I have a resting point on her face and I'm not really touching her skin so it doesn't get red or I'm leaving any marks on her face. Afterwards kind of brush them. Whatever color you've used before it kind of just blends in nicely. So I want to keep this look very natural. So on her eyes, I'm just going to use this palette by NARS, All About Eve. And it's really pretty. It's those champagne colors. And I'm going to use the color to the right. I'm just going to apply this color on her lid on a MAC 217 brush. And what this does, it just adds a little bit of sparkle and shimmer to her eyelid. And then I want to just get a little bit definition into her eye, like right in here. So for that I'm using a Laura Mercier color in Topaz in 272. I think this brush is discontinued, but anything with like a little bit of an angle to it would work. And what I'm doing is I'm going just really closely to the lashes and I'm creating kind of like a, a, a V right in here. And then I'm taking a clean MAC 217 brush and I'm just kind of blending everything together. I'm going to also bring this topaz color open up a little bit right in here on the bottom of her lash line. The next step would be I'm going to just apply this pencil by Sue Devitt in Surat. I'm going to take this color and I'm just going to put it on the lash line. 
it's a very nice thick creamy pencil so it's actually really easy to to apply open up I'm going to take the same thing the pencil on the bottom lashes focusing on the outer lashes and I'm going to pull it inwards And then you can take a little brush, something like this. I'm using my Contour Shadow Brush by Chanel. I'm just going to kind of blend it all together. Do the same thing on the upper lashes. You don't want a too thin of a line. It's, this is like almost like an eyeshadow, a creamy eyeshadow, just in a pencil. You just kind of blend everything together. Next step, I just want to bring a little bit of a highlighter right inside in here in this area and in the bottom lash line. Again, it's kind of like the V you're creating right in here. And for that, I'm using a soft touch shadow pencil called Hollywood Land by NARS. I really like this product for highlighting. It's such a pretty color. It kind of just opens up her eye and you know, you get a little bit of shimmer right in this area. You can take your brush from earlier, kind of just blend it all in together. And then if you look in the camera, you can see that the friends, how nicely highlighted her eyes right now. Always very important to curl your lashes. Press like a few times and then hold it for like five, ten seconds. Beautiful. I'm going to use Maybelline, the Falsies Volume Express. It's a very inexpensive mascara, but it really works beautifully. And just go really close to the roots of her lashes. We'll put a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes as well. I like holding the brush upwards and I can go really close and deep to the roots of her lashes. And then don't forget to comb out your lashes after this. So they don't look really clumpy. We want to make them look really nice and flirty and fun and all those nice components. <laughs> mm. Yeah, nobody likes clumpy lashes. Okay, next step. I'm using this product by Benefit called Hula. And I'm just going to use that product just to kind of contour her face a little bit. And for that I'm going to use a MAC brush in 109. And I like this bronzer because it doesn't have a lot of shimmer in it. Oh, like this. Suck in your cheeks, yeah? So we're going to just bring it right in here. So what I'm doing is just, I'm just going to, you know, contour her face a little bit. Bring out all the nice shapes in your face. And we can even bring this up in her temple forehead and go close to the lash line so it looks more natural and believable and we can even bring it in her chin area a little bit right in here and then I take a fluffy brush like this just to kind of blend it all in now we want to add a tiny little bit of color on her cheeks and for that I'm using a cream blush by MAC in Brit Wit Applying it with this brush by MAC in 188, like right on the apples of her cheeks. And you can even bring this product over the bridge of her nose a little bit. It almost looks like the sun kind of naturally kissed her face. And then also I'm going to just highlight her face just a tiny bit with this product by Smashbox. Putting it on one of those like little fan brushes, any fan brush is fine, I'm using Stila. I'm just kind of like placing it above her cheekbones right in here, just to give her a really nice highlight. And you can even bring this product right here on the bridge of her nose. And you can even bring it like right below her eyebrows. And actually one thing I completely forgot because she has such beautiful skin, we didn't even use any concealer underneath her eyes, which she can do actually right now. So I'm just using a little bit of this Dior Skin Flash Highlighter in 002. And I'm just putting it a little bit right in here. 
because sometimes this area can tend to be a little bit shadowy and dark, even on young girls like you. So I'm just like even doing it with my fingers just to like brighten this area a little. The last step, I'm just going to powder her face a little bit. I want to keep all this dewiness right in here. So I'm just going to bring the powder down here in this T-zone area. And for that, I'm using this Laura Mercy translucent powder and literally just a really small amount. I mean, she really doesn't need hardly any powder, but like right in here. For her lips, I'm going to use just a tiny little bit of this Lip Care Stick by Dr. Hauschka. I really like this product. It's so nice and moisturizing. And I always apply a little bit of a lip balm before I use any lip product. For your lips, I have chosen Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dolce Vita. It's kind of like your own lip color, just a little bit more enhanced. And also I like it because it's super matte doesn't really have a lot of shimmer to it and it's so easy to reapply you just kind of like stick it in your purse and all you have to do is kind of like draw it on like a lip liner I love this color on you and that's the natural California girl right here you're done I hope you like it